What's going on everyone? It's DSP and uh, as promised I've decided to do another condo tour. Uh, I actually moved into my condo in the summer of 2009 and at that point I did a condo tour uh, when the whole condo was completely empty. Okay, And uh, at that time you know, it was pretty boring, but at least you could see where I lived, and I was really excited about it. It was the first place that I actually owned rather than rented, and a lot has changed since then in the year and a half. So due to popular fan demand, uh, I've decided to give you a, a tour of my place again uh, and the things that have changed. So first of all, there's the front door, and yes, the hole has been fixed for quite some time. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a hole in the wall here where... There was no doorstop down on the floor, and so at some point someone had come in here after it was renovated, and uh, right here, you can really kind of see, if you can see it right there, it's not focusing properly now, but right there, there's a little bit, you can see it still on the wall. The doorknob from the door slammed through the wall and destroyed it, made a giant hole. Um, this focusing is really pissing me off. It's not working very well. Wow, okay. This is the fuse box which I've never used yet, which is good. This is the intercom, which does not work. They disabled these intercoms like five years ago, and apparently you can only buzz people in through the phone system, which sucks, because if my internet goes down, I have no phone system. Um, all right, so that's the front door. Obviously, you have a mat here with my shoes. I have an area here where I put my shoes. Yes, that is a bag of cat litter. I've been using that, uh, throwing it down outside on the ice to try to get the ice to melt, or at least to give me some uh, traction on the ice. Various coats and winter attire here. This ginormous box is the box for my new TV, which we will be looking at. Um, I have not had a chance to, to get it outside because it is very icy out there still. It's been very warm this week, and the ice is melting, which is good. And as soon as the ice is completely gone from the dumpster area, I'll be taking this over there. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's the box from the TV that just came the other day. So now we'll head into the kitchen which has not changed very much since the last time anyone's seen it. I mean, here we have an empty wall, <laughs> little cubby hole here with, uh, I usually put a, a, a case of waters on top of this storage rack here. Uh, some goodies down here. I got a, a hand vac, a couple snacks. There's Gamer Grub, which I did a review on. I haven't finished the, any of the bags of that yet. Uh, some candy, Brita water filters, I mean everything you can think of. There are those mana potions, which I drank one for DSP Tries It, and I never want to drink another one again because they're so disgusting. And down here I put my recyclables, uh, my trash can, a couple vacuums, uh, recyclables and trash that need to go out to the dumpster, but like I said, it's been so icy, I only go once a week, so it all builds up here. Here's the calendar, which I reviewed with you guys, uh, of my gaming schedule and tournament schedule and travel schedule etc etc there's the hateful truth clock which i purchased quite a while ago it's gigantic it's over a foot uh wide and tall it's pretty cool um my fridge and uh, a couple cool things i have this this board here where i usually write notes i haven't updated it in about a month so it still says yeah up oh, next is dead space 2 yeah that's coming next um this really neat thing here i got this from brookstone this is a weather monitor that basically is based off of a satellite and the satellite each day tells you what kind of uh, weather you're going to have. It's based off weatherchannel.com I believe and some days it's really good and some days it's awful. It's just not correct at all which is pretty funny. Uh, this was my game schedule notes from when I did my uh, game schedule video. Uh, you know, cabinets up top. Nothing major here but nice wooden cabinets. Uh, microwave stove which you've seen you've seen all this before if you watch any of my poorly cooking with the king series so this is nothing new for you guys um sink and all that typical you know tile floor which is nice i like the tile floor dishwasher yada yada yeah nothing interesting here let's get to the good stuff all right so starting here we have the countertop and as you see this countertop is really it's a wooden bar it's a wooden bar that goes around the edge of my kitchen and it's really useful for when people come over, they eat on it, they drink on it, it's really nice. So, what is this guy? Well, people have seen this in my videos before. This is a bronze statue of a locust from Gears of War. And uh, beneath his feet is, I forget this guy's name, I think his name is Dead Fred. He's actually a pen holder. What you're supposed to do is like put him here and then put a pen in his chest like this. <laughs> but... 
I found that the pens that I use aren't normal pens. These are the pens that I really like are the ones that have like the the ball points and those leak into this guy. So rather than using him as a pen holder, I've actually been just putting him underneath this uh, statue from Gears of War, this locust, and it looks pretty cool. It looks like he killed him. Um, this here is the book that I take all of my notes in for wrestling shows for the Smart Guy show that I do once a week with John Rambo. And uh, at this point, it's about half full, I'd say. Look at this. All the notes I've taken from all the wrestling shows starting back in October of last year when we started that show. Pretty cool. Um, here, I won't show you the address, but this is, except for the Burger King coupons on top, this is a pile of paperwork. This is a funny story. When I moved into this condo, okay, uh, about six months after I moved in, I was told by my the, the mortgage company who holds my mortgage that I don't have enough insurance to cover this condo in case it floods. And they wanted me to buy my own insurance policy to cover it, okay? So I did. I went and bought it, and it was a big hassle to prove to them that I had bought this policy. Then after I went out of my way to prove that I bought this policy... They said, oh, well, we would have bought a policy for you on your behalf if you didn't get your own, and it would have actually been cheaper than what you're paying now to the insurance company where you bought your policy through. And uh, this is a stack of paperwork. I'm not even kidding. Letters from the condo, or I'm sorry, from the mortgage company saying, can you please prove to us that you have uh, enough flood insurance? And then there's other letters from the, fl the flood insurance company. Here's proof of your flood insurance. At this point, I just don't give a fuck anymore. I'm supposed to prove to my mortgage company by the end of February that I have flood insurance. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to let them buy whatever they want and do whatever they want at this point, and I'll pay for it because I'm just tired of the hassle. Uh, these are some really cool Burger King coupons. Buy one, get one, three, most of them. Uh, but I've only used a couple of them uh, in the past couple of weeks. Gum that I'm never going to use because I don't chew gum. So we've got Think Gum, Jolt Gum. These are supposed to be like caffeine-infused gums, and uh, but I don't chew gum. Uh, other things, this is my old wallet, which I kept just in case my new wallet fell apart, but my new wallet's been doing well. My old, uh, You know what? I'm going to get rid of this fucking thing right now. <laughs> I just realized it was still there. I've had that sitting there for like eight months, so Arriva Dirty. Oh, good. Now I can put the Think Gum where that was, and I can push my paperwork up and give me some more room. Um... These are receipts from some things that I bought in the fall, just in case I was going to return them, but I think I'm going to keep them. Lots of chapstick, because this has been the coldest winter in a long-ass freaking time. My lips are all messed up. Uh, these silver coins are actually from a local supermarket. Uh, they usually, uh, they're, they're for discounts, so for example, if you want to buy a loaf of store bread, you can usually get it for free if you give them a coin. Um, as you can see, I usually don't buy a lot of the, that stuff that the, the discounts are on. Usually it's on the worst stuff in the store, so I have a shit ton of those built up. And these here are markers and metallic markers that we've used to sign joysticks, uh, joystick art, and, and other things. And as I attend tournaments and gaming events this year, I plan to take these with me so that if people want me to sign something, I have a, a marker that can pretty much write on anything. you get your typical Sharpie, but then you've got your gold markers, which will write on anything, and then also some... Uh, a silver pen there. Uh, this is my wallet. This is pretty cool. My wallet is made of duct tape. It's called the Ducty Wallet, okay? And uh, this is the best wallet I've ever had in my entire life. It's jam-packed with cards, and I have a spare key in here. I have all kinds of objects in here, but look how thin it is. I mean, this is, it stays compact in my pocket. And I don't feel like a giant bulge in my pocket when I'm driving. I love that wallet, and I recommend it to anyone. Look for that. The Ducty Duct Tape Wallet. It's amazing. Um, this is a letter from my condo association telling me, Hello, Phil. We're not, uh, you know, raising... And yeah, you know what? Everyone knows my address at this point. It's on the fucking internet. I mean, holy shit. Like... <laughs> I'm not even trying to hide it anymore. It's only been said by 7,000 trolls. Like, what's the big deal? You know? Uh, nothing's going to happen. Come see me and I'll fuck you up if you're going to be an asshole. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, this is a letter from my condo association telling me that uh, basically they're not raising my condo fees this year, but they're going to charge me a special fee for three months for renovations. So wait a minute. You're not raising my condo fees, but you're going to charge me extra money. Doesn't that mean you're raising my condo fees? I love how they try to, you know, finagle their fucking wording and make you it sound like it's a positive when it's really not. Uh, here I have some energy candies. 
which I have not used since I actually got laid off from my job. Uh, some of these are supposed to have like caffeine infused. This one's pretty cool actually. It's called Chargers. And what they are, are they're actually little beans. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a coffee bean mixed with, with uh, chocolate. It's pretty tasty. But uh, Alright, this is a model of Super Scroll. I don't know how well you can see him. You've probably seen him in my channel update videos. Uh, I got him when I heard he was announced for Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I knew he was probably going to be good, and incidentally, he's really good. And uh, So here he is. I've got two armbands here, which I actually have worn a couple times to events and also to the Don'tBlowThis.com uh, Super Turbo Revolution streams. You've got the Autobots, which I stole from Howard's house because he was sitting in like a cabinet and he never even opened it. And I got this Bullet Bill, which I got from online. That's pretty cool. This is the Sig water bottle with my King of Hate logo on it, which you can get uh, at my... Cafe Press uh, webpage, cafepress.com slash darksidefill. That's up there. There's also a lot of other uh, versions of those SIG water bottles. I love this thing. I, I've taken this to every single Don't Blow This stream. I've taken this to tournaments. It's really cool. It keeps the water uh, cold. And uh, I just it's durable as hell. It's made of metal. It's not made of like plastic or anything. It's the most durable bottle I've ever had. I dropped it on the floor a hundred times. It never dented or broke. So, All right, The last thing before we move on. This is a bar, so obviously I have a nice gin and tonic waiting for me once I finish this video series. Uh, so we'll be right back with part two of uh, DSP's condo tour where we'll head into the living room and we'll go from there.